Hi everybody, Dion here. Welcome to the season finale of Deep in the Sheets. This week we will be looking at organizing a PPC production calendar using Excel. So first to just give an overview of what's going on here. Uh, in pay-per-click management, there's a lot of tasks that need to be done regularly and at different intervals. So here at AimClear, you know, we like to put that on a calendar to keep everything organized and consistent. And a problem you might run into is having different tasks stack up on the same day. So you're doing one quarterly, you're doing one weekly, and all of a sudden you have 10 different tasks on one day. So to get around this, we like to use a system um, such as the one seen here. And we'll include this, uh, this spreadsheet here in our blog. So you can go ahead and grab that anytime you want. And just to kind of dive in here, we have Let's see, six different time frames we can set tasks to, semi-annual, so twice a year, quarterly, four times a year, bi-monthly, every two months. Then we have monthly, semi-monthly, which is twice a month, and weekly. So what we end up doing is we'll go Monday through Friday on here, so once a week, anytime on that day. And then we'll start putting tasks into these different corridors. So when it's filled up, it'll look a lot like this. So these are just a sampling of the regular tasks we'll do for an account, just a routine maintenance such as like a location report or a, you know, an extension audit ad, ad, ad scrub and that sort of thing. So what I've done here is assigned each task a value from one to three in terms of the difficulty and the time it requires. So when they're mapped out, what you end up at the bottom here is a total summary of, of all the tasks that line up and land on that day. What is the total time requirement in sort of a rough you know, estimate? So this one's a 14 rating, let's call it, for time. And then I have this go ahead and highlight anything that's over 18. So if I'm looking at this and all these different tasks, you know, we have these tasks that'll happen once a week, these twice a month ones, and we notice on the first week of February, we just happen to have far too many tasks lined up. So we have a difficulty of 18 worth of tasks for that day or that week in February. So what we'll end up doing is make an adjustment here. So on the 18th, you know, we can see that we have a location report. So if we move that over here, and we go ahead and get rid of that, we can see already that that'll help that day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this across to the rest of the year. So moving that from the first week of the second month of that quarter to the first. And once we do that all the way across, that 18 is gone, the 14 turns into a 16, and those small things like that can really help us organize the calendar overall. So what you'll end up doing is in each of these days, you'll give it a day of the month and you'll go ahead and say, you know, for this task, it's going to be a one in terms of difficulty. And you're going to assign that once. If I zoom out here, you can see the month as a whole. So that one, because it's only biannually, you're just going to do that twice. So the first and the first, this one happens twice a month. So we give it a two and just copy that all the way down the line. And with this, you know, if you keep bringing these all the way down and putting in your tasks, you could use this for social tasks or paid tasks. You could do more or less, you could adjust the time frames if you need to do things more regularly for certain accounts or less regularly. So it's a good way to organize and keep things in check and uh, even easier is if you take this and now that you have everything lined up so the regularity of the tasks is organized and the you know the way they fall on the calendar is lined up to not make any particular week too crazy you can go right into a Google Calendar or whatever calendar system you'd like to use you can go ahead and create a task so let's say we're doing an impression share audit and we know the impression share audit happens on the first week of January and the third week of January. So we'll throw the name in there. It's gonna be an all day task, so we just need to get it done sometime that day. 
We're gonna repeat this and it's gonna happen every two months. So we're gonna put it on monthly. Every two months, it's gonna happen on the same day of the week. And first we'll wanna get this on the right day for the initial one. So it's gonna be on a Monday, the first week of January. First week of January, the first Monday, which is gonna be the fifth. We'll repeat that every two months on that day of the week. So every two months on the first Monday. And once we save that, you can see scrolling through our calendar here, it's gonna line up on the same time each, each day. And you can go ahead and create more tasks for all these, go down the list. And when you're done, you'll end up with a full production calendar that is never too stacked for any particular day and has consistent regularity for each task. So go ahead and find this document on our blog, in Clear Blog. Uh, happy to share it with you guys and uh, let us know how it works out for you. Thanks for joining us on Deep in the Sheets. 